An average day out here can be 10 to 12 miles of walking just to try to set up on a shot, and then the day's over. We're in the Hawaiian Islands, and we're hunting axis deer at a super special place with Protect. Tiring. It's very broken up. It's like a lot of micro train grass with lava rock. Really cool train to hunt. Axis deer are an introduced species. They've been here for a long time. They're supposed to be here as a food source. Over the course of 100 plus years, the populations have exploded. There's no natural predators here. Humans are the only predators to keep them in check. Morning. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm about to do a lot better once we get up in the mountains. A lot of guys have never hunted axis deer and never hunted in Hawaii before, so uh, they're gonna get a, a quick education. Right when I released 30 fucking yards. I don't want to talk about it, Justin. <laughs> Should be a good time. You know, tying in the mission of Protect to a hunting trip over here in Hawaii, it's a grueling trip. It's a lot of walking, it's a lot of patience. But you know, we all believe at the core of our mission that the greatest memories are made through shared suffering. This is the perfect place to kind of test the products and kind of reenact that mission statement in life. Tim, what's my association? What do I say? Well, what do I call myself? I don't really know. Am I an ambassador? Like, okay, I'm a teammate, part of the family. I don't know what the fuck you want to call me. This gathering is basically, you know, the first get together of our Protec family. I really like that little ginger man. Hey, you can use that for not take. <laughs> I like the little ginger leprechaun. Just get everybody together and in a shared pursuit, which is bow hunting, and just reward everyone who's been loyal to us and, and been there with us from the beginnings. Bow hunting especially is just like, it's it's emotional. I blew it. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> fucking hot next day. And you have to get close and, and just really think through every move, thinking like five moves ahead all the time. My morning was emotional, you know, it was like the ups and downs. It was like started off, you know, missing a couple bucks and getting down on yourself and, you know, working through that. But the good thing about axis steer is you always get a second chance. plan is we're gonna try to get in a bit earlier and see if we can't sit on kind of a little trail funnel, do a bit of a hike to get in there. We'll see if it works. It's a handful of things at the same time. You're learning tracking, you're learning animal behavior, you're learning shooting and getting yourself in a mind state to where you can operate when you've got adrenaline pumping and all of that. Uh, you're learning about how to take care of your food. Another aspect of it is it, it just gives you a, a sense of independence. You know, you feel like, okay, I can take care of myself. I'm not totally reliant on others to take care of me and my family. It's, it's nice to have that feeling. 
interesting thing about hunting is you get to know people better within three days than you would in like a year of normal life. There's no distractions. You're with each other. You can't really go away from each other. There's how they adapt with adversity. If they can still have a sense of humor, a little trench humor about it to get through. I'm gonna kill whatever's in range, either with this bow or that bow. In a time of all this BS, these are guys I can trust, you know, and that's like the biggest thing to me. And the product is, is amazing. I use everything in the line. Everybody that's on this trip, the thing that you could probably identify with every one of these guys, loving life and wanting to live it really well. The highlight of my trip, honestly, was pulling it off. Just getting all these people in one place and kind of paying them back. You know, a lot of these guys, they believed in us when we were nothing. Yeah, I get emotional thinking about it. You know, just the fact that we're here and uh, just being able to work with absolute hammers that I really respect. It's the best job on earth. It feels good. Those guys deserve it. Hey, good job, man. You too. 